A student throws a ball in the positive direction vertically upwards. So positive is up. Keep that in mind. The ball makes an elastic collision with the ceiling, rebounds and accelerates back to the student's hand in 1.2 seconds. Which graph best represents the acceleration of the ball from the moment it goes, leaves your hand, goes up, come down and returns back to the hand. Throw, go and throw some. Throw something. So this question, I like it because it really tests your understanding of signs. Do you know what it means to have a positive or negative acceleration? So imagine this. Ball is thrown up. Hits the ceiling. Boom, boom, boom. And then it comes down and back to the hand. That's the whole story. But if you want to talk about acceleration, you need to talk about forces. All throughout this ball's journey, you can say there will definitely be a gravitational force acting on it, also known as weight. Always downwards. Now remember earlier we, the question said positive is upwards. Means you need to define the system that says anything that moves upwards or points upwards, all the vectors, is positive. You choose this system usually, but in this question, they choose it for you. Anything that moves downwards is negative. Not move downwards, sorry. Points downwards is negative. So let's look back at the side there. If weight is pointing downwards, where is acceleration pointing? I don't know, miss. The F equals to MA. Wherever the A points, the F points also. So if there's only one force down, acceleration is also down. And since everything is down, we're going to call it negative. Negative acceleration, negative weight. Just based on that, we can already see some values to cut off on these graphs. Graph A says it's in a positive acceleration. No, 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 cannot. Out. B also positive. No, 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 out. So see the C on D, where you're probably going to be at negative 9.81 or somewhere there, if we don't include air resistance. All right, so what about that little spike? What do you think is this spike? You know, if you don't know whether the spike is up or the spike is down, you can kind of guess. Maybe it's going to be this one because you take the same time to go up, hit the ceiling and say, I go down. Maybe. Or, I don't know. But to be sure, to know exactly which direction, you got to look at the scenario where the ball is at the ceiling and collides. What are the forces acting on the ball? Ask yourself. Number one, weight. Always there. Number two, when you are in contact with the ceiling, you have a contact force. So you need to also add another force. I'll try to draw it thicker a bit. This one is your normal contact force. Wow. So what's the acceleration? So there's lots and lots of forces pointing down. This acceleration is still negative, but it's much larger now compared to when you were at the bottom. Only one force point down. Okay, low, I accelerate. Up here, two forces pointing down. You accelerate a lot more. So that means for a larger magnitude, the answer would be D. So maybe you go up to like, no, 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 negative 10 or something like that. Larger? That's what it means by having a larger magnitude. Okay, so go and revise a little bit on your signs, how to define them, especially for kinematics and uh, dynamics, momentum and all that. Well, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.